How you going everyone? Welcome back to Sensibility. Let's go on to some histories to Parfarm. 1740. I don't know what that means. I uh, will let you know. There's usually a back-end story for so history to Parfarms. Real notes too. Good atomizers from uh, Men's Biz. What do we have here? Ooh, that's interesting. That's very spicy. Very woody, spicy. Has cumin. You can always smell when there's cumin in there. It gives it that really deep Middle Eastern... Um, vibe not Middle Eastern as in oud, saffron, rose kind of mix more the Middle East in I don't know, how can I put this Indian cuisine Indian spices so I'm guessing maybe, I don't know is that Middle East from Australia? what would you call that? We just say India in general. It's very, very spicy. It's bright, it's sparkling, it's revitalizing, it's it's nice, it's it's definitely matured. It's if you like spice mo extreme, you will like this one. Uh, same with Bois Dutch Eye from Mesa Gravelli. You know, it's very ultra spicy fragrances. May have a little red berry through it as well as they usually do. Mmm, this one's very dry spice, I would say. I wonder if it's got like some earthiness to it, like patchouli in the base. It's nice, I like it, it's very spicy. It reminds me ever so slightly of Imperium, how it has that uh, cumin spice in there. Nut de Sable, BDK, bit of cumin in there, takes things, the spice to an elevated level. It's not just like an undertone, it acts actually quite energizing and bright. It's nice. I rate that one. It's it's actually there. A lot of them I find are a bit subdued, but this one is really nice. 1740 Histories de Parfums. See you next time.